I'm John Schramm, head of development here at Kinalime. And I am Chaya, CMO and one of the producers here at Kinalime. Bing. We are so excited. This is the final round We've of our competition. We've made it. OMG, we're here. We're here to talk about the final screenplays. So about the final round, the final vote. We're here to bring you one of my favorite screenplays that we read, The Waif. Let's talk about The Waif. Okay, so The Waif essentially is a story about a, a man who's struggling through something in his life. I don't want to give away too much. Um, decides to go away to essentially kill himself, but in that process, find something a bit more demonic and sinister awaiting. Um, it sounds like a typical horror film, but it's not. And he's, you know, up against this, you know, evil force of three women, which I thought yes. was super cool. Oh, I know gosh. you have a really cool take on I that. love that yeah. it's like female killers. It's like <laughs> really the archetype kind of killer guy, but instead it's female. So it doesn't have like that whole like, female background story of like revenge and then you kind of feel bad for them like no they are terrible they are killers and it just adds the dimension which makes it so great definitely has that 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 twist that really wrote me in yeah yeah absolutely i love that this is like a drama to horror kind of film it really starts off going one way and then it takes you a full new direction it reminded me a lot of from dust till dawn the robert rodriguez yeah. film yeah. where it starts out with george exactly. clooney and yeah. tarantino the heist film and then midway through sama Hayek comes and turns into a vampire exactly. and you're like oh this is amazing this is totally not what i expected and then when the horror hits it's like super riveting it gets you there and you cannot put the script down. It really is character based. It really, that's what ropes me in. It, was, it wasn't just, you know, sure, you can kill someone on screen and make it look gory, but you cared about this character. You wanted him yeah. to get through the struggle. Yeah, no, absolutely. This is like a producer's dream kind of script. It is like execution is super straightforward. It's a pretty great script to make. It's a very hot genre. I feel like the writers does really well with giving enough for your imagination. Oh, yeah. So I really love that. We are so excited because this is the final round. I want to ask, like, what inspired you to become a screenwriter? So I started taking some ASCOM classes. I had to write a script for like a commercial and I fell in love. It was like uh, Wizard of Oz, like everything went from black and white to Technicolor. The second that I wrote words and somebody else said them and then I could see them. There's a difference in the sharing and the community of like working on a film that's just, it brings it alive in a way that just handing somebody your, your, short story doesn't. It's rewarding in a way that, that just, uh, for at least for me, like I, I don't, maybe I don't have the discipline to wait for somebody to read a novel, but to watch a movie, which I love yeah. that, that as well. It's a whole other thing. Um, I don't know. It just kind of makes me, it makes me feel alive, to be honest. What is maybe something that you would want your audience to feel when reading your script? I hope that they're connected to the, to the characters, particularly Ben. Uh, I want them to be on the journey with him. That's really important to me. Some horror films, you know, it's about the scare and, th and that's really, really cool. Um, but I really am about character. I want people to feel disturbed and worried and tense and then, uh, you know, hopefully um, feel some sense of uh, fulfillment whenever they get to the last page or the last in the last frame of the movie. For us screenwriting enthusiasts out there, what we want to know is what's your writing process like? The way that I approach writing like a, something like this is um, it's never one idea. It's usually I'll have a few ideas kicking around in my head. I'm fascinated by civility. I'm fascinated by it. Uh, uh, like these sort of our social norms and, and you can go co comedic with that and that's where we have like curb your enthusiasm. It's funny when people don't play by the rules of polite society. But it's not that far uh, of a departure to make that scary. Everything doesn't have to be big. And I, I, I like intimate. I, I find people, I find characters fascinating. So I really wanted to do a, a study on characters and then keep it really limited in locations um, and, and have a really authentic world uh, that's producible. When you made it to the final three, like, t tell us what you're feeling. I'm very proud. I'm very thankful, uh, both to the process and to Luke for submitting uh, the piece. Uh, it's been a blast, man. I mean, it's it's um, it's a great contest. It's a lot of fun. It's also very nerve wracking because it matters. Amazing. Thank you so much. Like, it's super important for us, obviously, here at Kino Lime, that like we are about like building a community with writers. I'm so thankful to have gotten in uh, and been a part of the first year, because I have no doubt that your scripts are going to like quadruple uh, when people realize that it's going to just continue to uh, exponentially grow 
Uh, they're talking about the quality of the, of the site. They're talking about the, the access to everything, the different sort of uh, venues to be able to w watch or listen to. I, like, I think that's really cool. And it, it really does service the scripts. And like, that feels important to me because it's not about whose name is on it. It's not about that sort of ego chasing stuff. And um, I think that's really, really refreshing. So if you love horror and you love drama and you want to see this get made, go to keenline.com, read the waif, rate the waif, and if this wins, let's make it. Yeah. Let's make it happen.